back on the farm in Thailand with Toon and Lee and two dead quail. Now, uh, we had a bit of a, a dust up in the quail cage last night, it appears, and uh, two came off worse, so we didn't have to dispatch them this morning. They were pretty much set solid with rigor mortis by the time we got up this morning, so uh, rather than just throw them in the catfish pond, what I'm gonna try and do is prove to you how big one of our walking catfish is. Well, two of them are big, but one of them is particularly huge. But I've never been able to get it on camera, so people do. <laughs> Some people have been saying it's an old fisherman's tail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, let me show you. One of my old fishing bank sticks that I bought over from the UK that you normally put a rod rest on here. And uh, at one end, we've got a little bit of a spike. So I know it sounds gory, but I'm gonna skewer the two quail and pop them just down here. In this corner here, I've just had a trial slide down there. Um, because the water levels come up, my little ledge that I normally stand on to, to remove the hyacinth to use as a garden mulch, um, that, that's underwater now. Um, but I can just about get it to within six inches of the water. What I want to do is try and get some footage similar to the orcas that you see on the Discovery Channel. You know when they, they beach themselves chasing the, the seals. So we're going to try and get this big bad boy up here a little bit. So once I've skewered the, the two quail and rammed them home with the bank stick down there, I'm quickly going to try and set up the, the camera as close as possible without risk of it falling in. Then I'm going to sit back and get comfy with a brew made in my Liverpool mug. And uh, hopefully we can see the big one come up. There's a few catfish showing now, uh, but the big one, he seems to come late to the parties. What I might have to do is throw some pellet in this corner here just to get the activity going. Once the noise of the, the feeding starts, then the big one should come and then he should bully them out and away and come right out of the water. Well, that's the plan anyway. Enough blah-de-blah. Uh, let's do the gory stuff and get the quail down there. <laughs> 